Are you struggling with defending on FIFA 23? Finding the new jockeying system quite difficult? Fortunately enough for you, we're going to tell you exactly how to defend on FIFA 23. So you can go from defending like this to then defending like a FIFA pro. First of all, a 10 second shootout to tell you what each button does on FIFA 23. L2 LT is your jockey button. R2 RT is your sprint button. Circle B is the tackle button. R1 RB is second man press. Flicking the right stick is for right stick switching. L1 LB is switching to the closest player. Square and X is your slide tackle. So here are a few mistakes that you already make on FIFA 23. Diving in when the ball is not there to be won. Pulling players miles out of position not tracking over the top through balls and not having patience inside the 18 yard box. So let's start with jockeying. Jockeying is how you can lower your center of gravity as you defend. It can make blocks, tackles, interceptions, and just win the ball for you. This is one of the key buttons when defending on FIFA 23. You wanna hold it while inside the 18 yard box, thinking about where the space and chances are for the opponent to turn, shoot, or lay off a pass. You can combine jockey with sprint, which is incredibly useful when the opponent is moving the ball quick or sprinting away. The question is though, when should you just jockey and when should you sprint jockey? Well, the general rule is if the opponent is just dribbling, you just jockey. If the opponent is sprinting, you sprint jockey. However, if the opponent is further away from you, just use sprint to get to them. And then once you are there, you can then slow it down, use sprint jockey or just jockey. You can use the sprint jockey when covering in the middle when you are goal side of the ball. A quick tip when it comes to over the top through balls, do not run to the attacker, beeline towards goal with sprint and then set yourself up to stop them from getting into a shooting position. At all times, you want to maintain a good distance to the attacker. You don't want to be touch tight and in their face because then you can get easily turned and rolled. But you don't want to be so far away that you are not close enough to block a shot or let them lay that pass off. To maintain about a one to two yard distance, this way you'll have the best result when defending. Maintain patience and when the ball is there to be won, step in hard with that tackle button. You are waiting for them to take a big touch with sprint or when they're exiting a skill move. That's one of the best ways to tackle. I will say though, when you want to win that ball, you are much more likely to win the ball and come out with it when you are head on in that tackle. If you tackle from the side, of the player, there's a lot of the times where the ball will bounce back to the opponent and they keep hold of possession. Do note that this year though, you can't allow your opponent time on the edge of the box because of the power shot and just shots in general from outside. What you need to do with your center mids is cover the passing lane and then close the angle down on the ball holder. So step in front of the attacker, the striker or the cam for example, and then close down the center mid in the middle of the park. This way you cover the passing lane and you apply pressure to the ball holder. What will happen is you either win the ball with a tackle or the opponent has to distribute the ball wide and out towards the wings. Once you force the opponent out wide, it's so much easier to defend. The next point is to talk about slide tackles that are very effective on FIFA 23. You can also do a hard slide tackle where you do R1, RB and square or X to take that ball away. The best time to slide tackle is when the opponent has took a big touch with sprint and the ball is there for you to take it away. So let's go ahead and get deep here. The biggest skill gap on defending in FIFA 23 is the ability to right stick switch. You can use L1, LB to change to the player that's closest to the ball. And you'll see that with the icon above your defender's head. However, if you want to select someone that's further away, this is where it becomes very tough. Using right stick switching can get you to that player earlier and quicker than anything else. This is best used when the opponent is looking for an over the top through ball or you want to be able to press the opponent. So the easiest way to understand right stick switching is like this. Imagine the player that you are currently controlling is the center of a clock. If you want to switch to a player that's further away, you just need to push the right analog stick in the direction of that. So if the player that you want to switch to is at two o'clock, flick the right analog stick to two o'clock. Simple as that. However, what about if someone's in the way of that? Someone's before that two o'clock. You need to then do a double switch, a quick flick twice. Flick the analog stick twice and you will get to the player that's further away. This takes time and practice. When I first started playing on FIFA 18, this was one of the hardest things for me. 
But once you understand it and nail it, it takes your game so, so much higher. However, if you are struggling and would love to nail right stick switching, you can join our coaching academy to get that one-to-one -one help. A link is in the bio for that. Once you've learned how to right stick switch, the next thing that a lot of people do is they're constantly player switching and they're dragging players out of position. They keep they don't keep that team shape. You need to try and maintain that shape at all times where possible. Keeping it compact and keeping the gaps to a minimum makes it very difficult for the opponent to break through. One of the most easiest things people do is they get sucker punched in on a simple one-two, dragging their centre-back miles out of position, making it easy for the opponent to capitalise on any gaps in behind. So now you've got your team shape sorted, you can now use second man press to make it even easier to defend. This is where you use the R1, RB button. And when you hold that down, your player will have four seconds to press. The game will select a defender to press the ball holder and you have four seconds to do that. This then means that you can cover a different pass or cover a different area of the pitch. One of the best ways to use this is to charge at your opponent manually with a player that you are controlling. Right stick switch, flick off to someone else to cover the next pass and hold R1 when you're controlling someone else so the player that you were just on continues to press the ball holder. I will note that defenders are much better at second man press because it works on defensive awareness so your attackers just don't do this as good as your defenders for example. And don't forget to use second man press inside the 18 yard box because I'll be honest that's probably where it's stronger in that position. With all of these skills you can develop your own defensive play style. Deciding whether you want to be aggressive, passive or a little mix of both. For me I love to be aggressive and get in the face of the opponent, get that lead and then once I've done that, I keep it tight, I keep it compact, and I make it difficult for the opponent to get back into the game. FIFA 23 has already changed one week into the game, and defenders are absolutely broken right now. Click this video here so you can find out how to get the best out of your attackers and defenders.